Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Channel. Welcome to episode 72 of Game Programming. So today we're going to take a look at um, clearing up this whole entity removal system and hopefully storing projectiles in a good place. So right now what happens is, um, well, we are reducing the size of our projectile list, but what happens when we actually make a projectile is we add it into an entity system. So let me try and find the code to prove to you guys that I'm not lying. Um, where on earth is that? Right, so I'm guessing that should be a mob. Yeah, okay, so we add a projectile here. And you can see here that we actually level.addp. So if we go to level.add, you can see that it actually adds an entity to a list. So quick way of fixing that, honestly, like there's multiple ways of doing this and I'll probably cover both. But one way is just having um, public void add projectile and then like projectile p. Right, and then um, actually having a list here as well that um, holds projectiles, and then in, in you know in the future when you get to optimizing or whatever, you can remove it obviously because um, because you, you're just not going to need it. Um, I mean, you, you sorry by remove it, I mean remove one of the lists because obviously right now we've got two projectile lists, one in the level class and one in the um, mob class, and you know in the future you could synchronize the two. And make sure that because obviously that's kind of a bad practice to have two of the same lists in different classes um especially if they're literally the same so there's that but um you know projectiles.add p right and then if we just scour away into where, where we actually rendered the entities which is uh right over here we can whoops <laughs> we could also add a um you know for projectiles.size Literally the same, just projectiles, right? Okay, pretty simple. Um, and obviously over here in, uh, oh, we have we have to do the same thing for update as well. I believe entities, no entities, yep, they do get updated, of course they do. Um, yeah, dot update, All right? So we've done both update and um, render for both for yeah for the projectiles. And now all we have to do really is in mob, we just, instead of level.add p, we can just level.add projectile p, right? And so what that essentially does is separates the lists. Now that's all cool, but it still doesn't fix our problem. Um, because, you know, the thing that's kind of going on here is when we actually exceed the range, you know, we remove it from the list. But the list that we're removing it from is obviously, you know, the mob list. So if we uh, control click on that, we get we get taken over here. And so now we kind of say, okay, well, you know what? We've got an instance of level accessible to our mob class, right? And you know, theoretically, that does make sense because, um, well, because a mob has to have a level to it. So you know, in our hierarchy, it makes sense, and we do actually have an instance available. So let's just get rid of this completely. Um, and what we can do here is just put, uh, well level.add projectiles. So we can actually get rid of that completely. Um, and over here in player, you know, we've got this whole thing going on here. We can actually just hit up level.projectiles.size. Yeah? And we'll have to make this uh, public. Okay? Now, that's one way of doing it. Um, I'll probably just keep this private though and make a, a getter for it. So, public uh, list projectile get projectiles. Um, and then we can simply just return that list of projectiles, which is called projectiles. Yeah, that's one way of doing it. So if we go over here, um, we just hit up level.get projectiles.size. Yeah, and then same thing here and here. Okay, so we could do that. Um, and over here in mob, there's one more thing, and that is the size that we're printing out. So let's just print that out. So let's just check out what this looks like. And you can see now that that works perfectly because uh, he's got this little black thing in front of him on. <laughs> because um, obviously we set the range to be really low. So if I go back to the range real quick for you fellas. Um, where's that at? That would be in wizard projectile. So the range right now is like two. Let's set that to 20. All right, cool. So we are getting some range here, but still we're cutting off pretty, pretty early. So let's maybe set it up to 100. All right, sweet, yeah? So, occasionally, actually, we're kind of getting, oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, 
We the slight miscalculation here. We've got X origin instead of Y. I actually saw the comments to that um, the other day, but I didn't talk about it. Um, sorry, this is supposed to be X origin. So if we do that again, we should have a stream that pretty much breaks off when it reaches a certain point, which is the range of it. Okay, sweet. So that's you know that's probably the way that we're going to do it. Now I said I'd show you guys another way, but the other way would really, literally be the same because um, it would just say that it would just treat. Um, a projectile as, as if it's in the entities list. And I'm just thinking right now, I might want to keep them separate, right? I might just want to keep two different lists, one for projectiles and one for entities. Um, just because, well, just because. <laughs> um, just because I think it might be uh, better in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much how that works. Um, next time we'll probably ca uh, cover, let's just quickly just play around with this because it's fun. And I'll show you guys in more detail. Um, yeah, so you can see that there. And let's maybe set wizard to actually about 200. Okay, now this is what I wanted to show you guys. If we put the speed to one, it'll obviously limit how fast our projectiles go. So if I shoot these, you see that they actually disappear when they hit the range 200. Yeah, you saw that. So let's do that again. These guys are traveling and they all disappear when they hit their range. Okay, now, what we could do is actually um, add a random range. So if, and I probably will do that. Maybe not for this, maybe, you know, because some weapons might want to, um, so probably we'll just uh, do a protected final random random equals new random, yeah. Um, just because, uh, and we're declaring it final by the way, because we're, we're not gonna have more than one instance of this. It's gonna be a, um, it's gonna be a constant, yeah. Um, this should never change. Um, let's go into here. So we'll set the speed to random dot next int. Um, oh, sorry, rather not not speed range. So random dot next int, and we'll probably just leave it at um, you know one hundred and fifty plus. Oh no, hang on. 100 plus 150. So in other words, range the range will be between 150 and 250, which is pretty good. So if we just do this, what you'll see is these guys will kind of disappear at, you know, random instances. So it won't be as as uniform. Yeah, they'll kind of randomly disappear, which is kind of cool. So that that's an idea as well. Um, and if we just set the range to something like, you know, kind of smaller and maybe the speed up just a bit, you know, they'll just disappear random instances. Let's get rid of this completely. And that kind of looks a bit more organic, right? Um, so yeah, so that's one way to do it. Um, I probably will leave it at 200 though, and the speed back up to four. And you can set this up pretty high as well. Like there could be some seriously fast moving um, things, like bullets in the future, um, and just all of that. Yeah, so these are so fast that you can't actually see they're moving because we're only updating them um, 60 times a second. But yeah, okay, I, there, yeah. <laughs> Not much else to say here. Let's leave this at four though, because that was cool. Um, anyway, that's it. Next time we'll probably cover rate of fire so that we can slow down the rate at which we fire these particles or these projectiles. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Game Programming. If you did, please hit the like button. I'll see you guys next time with a new episode. Later, guys.